Hi guys, I'm Josh, and welcome to Josh for Tech. Today, I'll be mainly talking about text editors. Okay, so, firstly, what is a text editor? And why do you need a text editor? Now, when you have a text editor, you can be able to write your code, and also to view your code by typing and writing those codes, and you are able to view them on a browser. And also, this is an IDE are similar, but IDE is smarter. Let me first start with showing you a text editor. The main one that comes with computers, the most one, is Notepad. Let's share for Notepad. Let's open it. Now you can see like that. So yeah, you have this white screen and black text. So see you type some it's mostly white and black. And right now this is how the notepad will look like when you're coding. So I type an HTML tag. Hmm. You wanna ask a question. What's an HTML tag? Mm -hmm. Now in HTML tag, it's the main thing you need when you are coding HTML because without the HTML tag, the code is not gonna work. Okay, now let's get back. Now, we do have, we have an ID. Now let's go download an ID. Okay, let me go to my browser. Let me go download an ID. Mm. Yep, and today I'm going to use Sublime. So, Sublime download. Okay, okay, now let's download Sublime text. Now, Sublime text is an ID. But it's not a text editor, but like that. Let, let, let's download. Look for the latest version. Okay, you can see it's setting up. Okay, is this finished downloading? Now let's check. Okay. Now, now let's check on our history. Now it's going to show it. Now let's go to our Chrome download. And we can see it's still loading. Okay, now you can see. Now let's show in folder. Okay. Now let's open the setup. Okay. I press yes. Okay. You press yes. Now you press next. Actually, you might have to allow your mom and dad to do this for you. Let's look for a folder. Let's save it in the Windows. In the desktop. Where is the desktop? Let's see. Let's save it in this place. 
save it in the users where we have it then let's go to our desktop and press okay okay now we press next okay now let additional tags you will like to set up the platform by installing text now yep let's go next let's install now let's finish and next Now that we're finished, let us cancel it. Again, press finish. Okay, now let's set for sublime. Sub. Yeah. In sublime text. Oh, I open a lot of photos. Now we need. So this is the IDE. Okay, like it's loading. Just for some time. It's just for some time, okay? Continue. Wait. Let's cancel this. Let's open it again. I'm not going to work into the store. Let's wait. It's not going to load it. I mean, this. Oh no. Load fast. It's going to take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. In a waste of some time. Is that only loading? Yep. Now, let's check sublime text. Okay. Okay. Now, this is a sublime. Now we have Sublime. So let's do a lot, a, a little bit of comparison. Which one would you prefer? This one or this one? Uh, this one. But for me, I prefer this one. Let's kind of resize it. Which one would you prefer? It's a bit of comparison, of competition. Which one will you think he will use the most? For me, I'll use the most is this one. The one I'll use the most is this one. Now, look closely. And the one you pick, write down a comment and tell me the one you prefer the most. So these are IDs. So I can type an HTML as a tag as I, I said. Now let's save it. Now we come here and see save us. Then make a new folder. New folder. Now let's make it, name this. 
coding exercise. Okay. And this type. Now, any HTML document must end with a dot HTML, or else it doesn't take as a HTML document. And most importantly, it's really good to use a name index.html sometimes. Index.html. You save. Uh huh. Now you can see it has this kind of color. You can see, as you can see, you can see. Oh, but, and as you can see, it also helps you to type really fast. I can actually just do like this HTML. I can actually just do like this and just type my body straight and it will help me quickly. Now, watch this body. Wow. Now, Tana is just giving me the other part and body. So, the ID is really small. That's why I like to use it and it helps you to code way faster. So, leave a comment about the one you prefer the most notepad or sublime text. Bye.